got a uh, fairly significant oil pipeline break. Now this is by Edinburgh, North Dakota, some 55 miles northwest of Grand Forks. Now this was discovered around 6 a.m. on this Wednesday morning. Uh, right now you can see a, uh, at noon here a backhoe at the end of a coulee stopping up a, uh, a culvert there uh, to presumably stop the flow of oil uh, any further down the coulee. You know, this, now this is a uh, Trans-Canada pipeline. You'll see the terminal here. We'll uh, pan by that. And as you look up the coulee here, on the uh, side of that bank, that black, that's oil. Again, uh, this uh, was discovered about 6 this morning. Here's Walsh County Sheriff Ron Jurgens with more on all this. We found this out this morning, um, a little uh, after 6 a.m. this morning. And uh, the, the pipeline is owned by TransCanada. Okay, any idea how much uh, oil has spilled and has it been turned off? Um, the oil pipeline has been turned off. Um, at this point, we do not have an estimation of how much has been spilled, um, but the pipeline uh, company is on, is on site and um, the proper people have been notified. Okay. Uh, by look, I have photos and video of it here. I mean, it's safe to say thousands of gallons on top of the field. So. It, 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 to, to me, I've never had one, Neil, so I, I can't. I've, I can't tell you offhand, and I haven't gotten anything official from the pipeline company. Are you still um, yes, I, um, I believe um, there's some pipeline inspectors that from the state that will be up to look at this also. So yeah, I, um, the state um, has been notified, uh, as well as the you know the water water. Uh, people also so yes their uh, proper notifications have been made through emergency management and uh, um, there will be people that are coming up to check you know the water quality and all that stuff also as well as making sure supervising the cleanup okay uh, you said it was discovered around 6 a.m. any idea what time it got uh, shut off um, I, I believe it was shut off um, before the before it was reported to us, so around 6 a.m. Oh, okay. So, uh, but who knows how long it had been? Um, I guess spilling throughout the night. Or... Um, I, I, I would, yeah, I, that would be my assumption that that the spill was previous to that, and um, I, I'm not sure how long it had pumped um, before we were notified. Near Edinburgh, North Dakota, I'm Neil Carlson reporting for iNews.tv.